Greetings and salutations, and our dozens. It's I Wolf Tech, and here we are with another delightful video. This time, it's not Pathfinder related. Oh, I just kind of had like a burst of Pathfinder, but there's also still going to be more Pathfinder Second Edition Shin videos coming in the future. So, there's that. Uh, this is something a little bit different. This is uh, the Mutant Epoch, the Mall of Doom Adventure TME One for six to ten first rank characters. Uh, this is actually the first adventure that was produced for the Mutant Epoch uh, in physical form. Uh, it's a really low uh, pr low code number, and it's even before they started putting the, the number for the on the spine here. After a while, they eventually he eventually starts putting numbers here, so you can collect them all. <laughs> uh, always love his artwork. Uh, the characters are, the artwork is actually quite expressive. Uh, of course, you, it's called the Mutant Epoch, so you obviously have mutants of all kinds of varieties in it. Uh, this is a soft cover book. I'm not aware if he actually does produce this in a hardcover, uh, but I'm perfectly fine. The inside is the, simply the black and white version of the cover. Going into the next page, we have... Uh, some more artwork. He is actually rather known for his artwork, and he has worked in the RPG uh, industry for many, many uh, decades. He actually has a variety of characters uh, in here, of many styles and flavors. And as well as you can see up here on the top, there's the table of contents. Uh, the table of contents for the Mutant Epochs are actually kind of old, uh, books is typically on the very basic side. However, this is obviously an adventure, so it kind of makes sense why it's really simple. Although I would have much rather had uh, a more in-depth version of this uh, table of contents. You go into here and you, as you can see here, has the title up here again, introduction. It goes about, uh, the, about this adventure, character party strength, he talks about ex roughly what range of character party strength you want to have. Uh, read to the players, text blurbs, the GM advice, and multi-path team adventures. And then it, go it gives you a good chunk of advice on that. He uh, often has a lot of artwork th throughout the entire book. And there are non-mutants in the Mutant Epoch. They're referred to as uh, peer strings. Uh, the section on the adventure begins, background for the game master, walks you through this. The plea for help, which is the call to adventure, and so forth. Uh, there is a really interesting detail about the format in this book, is that it's often numbered in sequence. And we'll even reference, uh, have various ta random tables. So the Mutant Epoch is actually known in the very, very tiny, tiny community for having a lot of random roll tables throughout it. In fact, the core hub rules, or the core rulebook, you literally build your character by rolling on random tables. And the reason for that in the Mutant Epoch is that you, there is an extremely broad range of mutations and technology that uh, your character can start with and uh, if you were to not randomly roll on the table, you could actually design a character that is ridiculously powerful or has a very precise set of characteristics and abilities that's really hard to kill in some situations. So it, for as a counterbalance to that, you have just random mixed rolls. It also, in a weird way, is a really fast way of building a character because all you have to do is just get out a bunch of dice you roll your D6s, you roll your D1s, following the, through the club rule book, and you can, you just make sure you write down the numbers, check the next next thing on the list, what your results, and then you keep rolling and going. And you could really crank through a character during like 15 minutes once you get the rhythm down or less. As for per typical for the Mutant Epoch books, uh, there is usually a piece of artwork uh, for the starting location. And where you're going, uh, it's written out in entries, 
as if you're like reading something of a journal or something. And there's also references for other things throughout the book. Hit that button. Uh, it is a very text heavy book. However, at being an artist as he is, he always makes a point of putting his artwork throughout the entire, uh, every book has a ton of artwork in it. There's not very often where a page go more than one page goes by where there's not artwork on the next page. Or on the page before that, you know. But anyways, you get the general gist. There is a, a broad set of scenes. Uh, the game system is based around D100s and D10s with uh, various D6s says for various things, such as damage. You got an extremely broad range of characters, from the very beautiful to the downright mutilated hideous characters. Uh, all his characters he draws are actually quite expressive. Please note that there is a great deal of, of uh, the end thing, uh, not uh, bad N word, but uh, naked stuff, naked imagery in uh, Mutant Epoch. So some people uh, get a little touchy about that. Usually, it's the mutants and monsters that are naked or in the nude. But as I said, there's a lot, there's a good disbursement of uh, tables for various things, as well as artwork throughout the whole thing. It's one of the rare occasions where there's no artwork on the page. As I said, there is a random roll table here, a random roll table there, and so forth. Uh, this is actually a situation where this is a 3D6 roll four times table. Rerolling duplicated results. So you actually have, as I said, and so forth. Actually, broad range of characters. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way to the end of the book because that will give away what happens. As you can see. There is actual meaningful combat mechanics mixed behind mutations, having multiple heads, hearts, limbs, different types of limbs, uh, having superpowers. Uh, there's a type of uh, mutant called a ghost mutant that often happens to have like a superpower like psychic blasts, which is a mind crush, or uh, the ability to heal people by touching them or radiating, or people who can project poison or darts out of themselves. Uh, hardened skin, you got cyborgs in the Mutant Epoch and so forth. I'm going to, uh, before I get to the end, I'm just going to stop up showing you pages and uh, not give you any more of that. There is always a section in the very back of the book that is uh, dedicated. I'm just quickly switching back. There is uh, always a section typically in the book that's dedicated to new items that are added into the Mutant Epoch as well as a game mastery summary of various outcomes and situations, uh, new creatures, uh, suggestions for continuing your adventure past the adventure that's in the book, typically multiple pages of suggestions, and always a lot of artwork throughout the book, particularly in the back, like maps and galore, typically in the back. And so forth. Uh, this MSRP's for oh my goodness, it's not listed here. But uh, if I remember correctly, this typically this book sells like for the twenty dollar range. Uh, I'll have a link to it for Amazon. You can go to Amazon or you can go to OutlandArts.com to buy it, it directly from there. You can also get PDFs of the Mutant Epoch. Uh, MutantEpoch.com. So, hey, if you want more Mutant Epoch, you can go that direction. Uh, please note that it's like 6 to 10. Uh, I've known of people who played the Mutant Epoch as a solo role playing game or solo TTRPG. It makes sense because the way it's structured throughout the entire book, there's a good chunk of stuff 
it's entered in entries and you could read through it and then the answers for that is in the back or things that to tie into it so you can actually play through the mutant epoch as a solo character in fact there is an adventure called dog days that is specifically designed for people who want to play through it solo style uh, he's also currently working on a rules expansion for the mutant epoch that is, I think he's wrapping it up, his, uh, f finally finishing up writing it out and cleaning up some details, uh, copy fitting. And, uh, right around that point, it'll probably be, uh, that final copy will be sent to the printers. And usually in about like three months after that, it, it will be available. So probably sometime around spring 2024, late, early spring of 2024. 24 or late winter there will be the release of the ex, uh, expanded rule set however I'm not official he might show up and type in the comments below the information there is actually a YouTube channel official YouTube channel for the mutant epoch but he doesn't update it terribly much I wish he would update it more often and particularly have more videos on uh, tips on how to play the game and such and uh, question and answer segments on his channel well, to clarify details but you know I've also suggested to him a few times that he should like do a starter set and rewrite the rules for simple uh, for people who are completely new to TTRPGs and include like a game master screen in it and a few other things to help people get into the mutant epoch so there you go uh, I have yet to play the mutant epoch myself uh, it's really hard to come uh, come by people who do not want to play Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder Second Edition or even Call of Cthulhu. It gets harder and harder as you go away from those three or four big games. So I make a point of like including this, this stuff on the channel as much as possible to get people interested. In, oh, that's that's a really interesting concept. I'll pick up uh, the core rulebook or the quick start rules. There is actually a quick quick start rulebook. That also has a small adventure for the Mutant Epoch as well. I would place this uh, book somewhere around that uh, three and a half star, three point five star to four star range approximately. Uh, it's fairly cheap. It's not hard to read through quickly. There's always fun artwork throughout the entire book. Look, all these books have a ton of artwork through them. Uh, the only thing I could say, there should be probably some more clarification on how, uh, various mechanics and stuff like that. Uh, but that's about it. And probably a starter set would be super nice. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a delightful day and nice week, nice night, a wonderful weekend, magnificent month. And please share this video around and like and subscribe to the channel. Have a delightful day, a nice night, a wonderful, a wonderful weekend, magnificent month. See ya.